Good morning all, we are back out again, it is a brisk Wednesday morning, it's about 7.30am and we are out on this, I have three test rides to do today and get ready because the LXR Carbon is coming up next this is the Lexmoto Echo, so this is the Euro 5 version great little scoot and you're wondering why it's not got a number plate on it's because it's a brand new bike and I have my trade plate on my back, so reg on my back Brand new bike, get ready to put the reg plates on it today, the old plates on it for the customer. And it currently has two kilometres, because I've just ridden it down to my favourite little spot, Dobby's. Right, there we go. On the top, indicators, main beam, engine management, speed, K's on the outside, miles on the inside. We're looking for about one o'clock, which is 30 mile an hour. And four litres of fuel fills the tank right the way up. Nice wide mirrors, front brake, rear brake, horn, indicators, lights, and a start button. That is all you need on that. Two little pockets, put your gloves in there, the obligatory handbag clip, as I call it, and it's as easy to manage as anything. Down there is the battery, right in the centre, so you can get in there, charge your battery, or put an optimizer lead on it. Now, how are we getting on at Dobby's? Yes, look, they've got nearly got all the road in, and they've got the EV points up as well. So just thought I'd give you a daily update of how they're getting on with their electric car charging. No one's going to use it, you know that. But they've got the EV points in, and there's three of them up so far. And that looks like the uh, the next ones are just rolling in. Yeah, that's the substations just rolling in. Oh, the joys. Why would you put an EV parking centre? Right in the middle of a garden centre. Yeah, beggar's belief, but each to their own. Right, we're waiting for the traffic to clear. I'm not going to risk pulling out at uh, 30 mile an hour with a huge flow of traffic. Right, now I can go. He's come to empty their chemical toilet then. Right, we're off on this. Lex Moto Echo, wind up the power. Get the visor down. It's exceedingly cold and dark this morning and rain is forecast all week lovely so at one point i am going to get absolutely soaked now we abandoned the uh, lxr yesterday due to the fact that it was absolutely hammering it down brand new tires just over three and a half grand's worth of bike and i won't fancy sliding that down the road on brand new tires because the roads were exceptionally wet and greasy but with the echo i can bimble and that's copyrighted word of andy gsa tractor I can bimble around Bletchley in the 30s. Control is very easy to use. It handles exceptionally well. Now, these have the, uh, I believe, the 10 inch tyres. These are the standard Echoes. The Echo Plus, they're not doing it anymore, which had the 12 inch tyres, but on 10 inch wheels on a 30 mile an hour scoop, it handles well. And uh, if you're using it for college or just your daily run or just a nice easy commute for 16 I think these are about 1600 pound 1650 they are absolutely good man good bikes for the money one of the cheapest ones that uh, you can probably get and the echo has been around for absolutely ages it used to be called the pulse scout when it first came out it was pulse and then obviously they changed it to Lex Moto but uh, Every bike company had one of these because these all came out of China and they were all rebadged different names and given the same engine. Now the engine on these is absolutely bomb proof. I can prove that fact because we had a Pulse Scout that a customer owned, had it for a year, traded it in against the 125 and rather than resell it it became our loan bike so customer brought his bike in for servicing or his bike broke down we'd give him the pulse scout give him the 50 to just run around on that got slung down the road multiple times by the owners they got put back together new panels on it had all the uh, bits and pieces done regularly serviced that thing clocked up 9,000 kilometers and we sold it about three weeks ago for 300 pound guy went i oh, just want a cheap scoop run around for me lad He's not interested in something flashy, he just wants something cheap to run around on. So he bought that for 300 quid, and it's still going. And it's due to come in for a service, I believe, in a couple of weeks' time. 
So the things still go. These things are bomb proof and the panels on these are cheap as chips. So if you do uh, accidentally lob it down the road, you can replace the panels and they are cheap as chips. The only thing you can't get for them at the moment, and obviously parts coming out of China, you do have to wait for some parts, can take you up to a month, but parts are now starting to flood into the UK. It's supply and demand. But what a great little bike these are. And you can literally whip around full throttle just doing your own thing. So a couple of miles to work, a couple of miles back, yep, job done. Pop them down the road for your paper, your pint of milk and your loaf of bread, you can fit it under the seat. Now under the seat you won't get much storage, there's enough to put like your wet weather gear, your chains or your locks or whatever, or your uh, kit bag for work, but you won't get a full face helmet under there. That is enough storage and it's also got the little rack on the back so you can put a 32 litre top box that will take your crash helmet. So you've got the option of putting a top box rack on one of these comes with the rack on it and all you do is just bolt your top box on nice and easy if you want to see the rack roll back to the beginning of the video but for whizzing around town they get up speed pretty darn quick and for the money they're a good investment i'm just doing uh, different roads i'm just going to do something a little bit different this morning we're going to ride around and just uh, puddle about crank up some miles and then we're going back to get the lxr carbon so a lot of test rides going on, and while we're doing that, I can waffle on about other stuff. So obviously, customers bought this one, they're going to be watching this ride test 30 mile an hour, and just cranking some miles up on it. Now, out of the box, you can go full throttle on these, you haven't got to run the engines in. 50cc engine, and they just go absolutely great. You could have gone then, there was loads of room. And you can probably hear my daily alarm going off in the pocket next test ride yes i am slightly over time and if you want people say oh why does your alarm always go off in your pocket and we do something slightly different to uh, other garages as i would say i have my alarm set quarter past eight coffee break and smoke break for rb after test riding and then at 10 12 2 and 4 customer updates where are we on the bike so we always update customers as well so a lot of customer updates and then uh, on the half hours update workshop notes so i have about 20 alarms go off every day six days a week on my phone <laughs> uh, and people go what, what one's that one what's that oh it's just a customer update or garage update but nothing worse than you put your bike in the garage and it's in for a service and for instance it comes in at two o'clock and it's two and a half hour service that's just to give the customer a call at four oh just to let you know we're nearly finished on your service or we're nearly finished doing your mot or your tire if you want to start making your way down i should be done in about 20 minutes so nothing worse than you put your bike and you're worrying about what where your bike is at the moment so that's a, hence the reason why we do customer updates over the bump and down. Suspension on these is really good. So, rattling along, doing very well, and we currently have uh, quite a few K on the bike. Still got final test ride to do as well. So, that's the first bit of the mileage done. We've got 6k on the bike. We're going to whack a bit more on it on the final test ride. But so far, so good. Back to the garage, cup of coffee. Cigarette break, that's what the alarm's for. It's telling me, get back, get ready, have your smoke break, have your coffee, get ready for the next test ride. But at 30 mile an hour, you're keeping up with the flow of traffic. Not upsetting any cars by holding them back, and it climbs the hill at about 25 miles an hour, which is what I normally say. Noddy nod. I nod to everybody, and people say, "Why do you nod to learners? You're a big bike rider. You should no, no, no. You should only nod to big bike. We're all on two, two wheels. We're all bikers. It doesn't matter whether you're a, a 50, a 125, or a big bike. We're all bike riders. We're all on two wheels. So not, I nod to everybody." 
apart from the Ubers. And sometimes I do give an Uber a nod, but they never nod back because they don't understand the biker code. And that's normally the hand waving, leg waving, touching the crash helmet. Loads of different codes. And uh, I should be doing a video on that. What is the biker code? So, give you a little bit of a, a video on that. That will come up. Just different things that we're going to be doing over the next uh, couple of weeks. I now have watch him because he's backing out I now have all the cage and the radio mics for my Insta which means now we can start doing some different video rather than you seeing me just sitting here riding you get to see the bike from a different angle so we're going to be mounting the Insta on uh, on a clamp so nine times out of ten it's going to either be on the mirrors the handlebars but you'll get a different aspect of riding using the Insta and I'll have the radio mic off my uh, off this LS2 connected to the Insta on the receiver, so you're going to get some nice clear audio, hopefully. And the uh, audio on the uh, crash helmet it's a lot better now, thanks to uh, certain people, Peaky and uh, ZED and all the boys saying, "Oh, you need to try this, you need to try that," and uh, Howie's giving me a few tips as well. Thanks, Howie. Am I going to go to DJI? I'm going to stick with the GoPro for the time being. I'm on a 10 at the moment, Hero 10. But, after looking at the DJI Osmo Action 4, the colours are better, quality's better, it lasts a lot longer than a GoPro battery as well, and I've got the heavy-duty batteries in these. These last for about an hour and a quarter, but uh, I've got a pack of about six batteries in my kit bag so I always have charged batteries everywhere but what a pain in the backside to swap now because you have to take them out of the medium odd cage you've got to pull the battery out you've got to pull it all back together and then clip it back onto the helmet the Osmo Action has its own little uh, springy clip that goes underneath which is really cool so we're going to look at the Osmo Action I'm being tempted like I was tempted by the Harley so just something new to try but obviously we're going to have the uh, Insta out probably next week so keep an eye out for the new Insta videos, that's going to be fun. But so far so good, Echo's riding lovely, all good, happy days, we're back to the garage. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of the Lexmodo Echoes. For the money they're very good. So until the next time we are riding and getting frozen to the core, be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.